This is a little review on my Diamondback AR-10 and 308. Uh, I've got about 100 rounds through it. And uh, just wanted to show everybody this uh, this rifle. It's, uh, it's a well-designed and a beautiful AR platform rifle and um, I uh, really wanted to make this video for a couple reasons. One is I'm having a hard time reloading with this gun. Maybe I um, need some your guys' help out there. And two is uh, I wanted to touch on some shortcomings of it. So it's uh, got a kind of a crappy trigger out of the out of the box. Um, I think I want to get rid of the stock because it's a charging handle and the stock, you know, it's all kind of in the way and you got to have this little cheek rest thing to get your eye properly adjusted on the scope and all that good stuff so i need to get a different stock for it um muzzle brake it works but it's not great uh like something to actually help uh keep it a little more still um it's got uh, some good some good things. I mean, it's well designed. I like the the cutout on this handguard for your scope. The handguard, the M-lock handguard is actually awesome. Although it did come loose on me. These bolts came a little loose on me, so it wasn't a big deal. Just tighten them up, right? Um, I love all the Magpul stuff. Magpul bipod. It's pretty nice. I wish it didn't uh, can't so easy. Um, maybe if there was a little upgrade on that Magpul where you could lock it down better. Anyhow, if they're listening, they, they'll, they'll figure that out. But, um, so anyhow, it's a beautiful rifle. Here, I'm doing this on my wife's dining room table. She's going to kill me. <laughs> Anyhow, it's, uh, it's you know, uh, a good-looking rifle. But to show you a little bit of some of the accuracy I've been having, Thought I would uh, show you a few targets. Anyhow, this was my first day kind of sighting it in. Shooting a little high, bring her down. Roughly about a two inch group with my hand loads. Now that was with uh, Sierra 150 hollow points. Um, CFE. 48.4 grains, and, uh, you know, it was okay for the first time out. So I thought, eh, not a big deal. Uh, took it out again, and my next, I was shooting some old uh, military ball ammo. And besides a couple that are dropped here, that's about a, well, yeah, it's under, it's one and three quarter inch groups, so I can live with that, right? But, ta-da, I can get some of my reloads and try a little bit harder. So, pull out some uh, 168 grain hollow points with uh, the IMR. 
8208 XBR 43 grains. Size that one, probably me. Eh, inch and five eighths. Okay, not great. So, played with it. Took some of my uh, hand loads that I use in my uh, bolt gun, which, you know, it don't fit in the mag with a case length of 2.9. But the same thing. And inch and three eighths. Okay. Eh. I'm working on it. But long story short is I'm just not uh, real happy with it. So I just kept plinking around. Here I had some full metal jackets. And uh you know, two and three eighths. All right, so no, not a big deal, just how. But, then I got here. What the heck is going on? Well, what it is is it's a little too hot. I started blowing primers with the IMR 4895, 47 and a half grains. Yeah, that's max, that's max load. Okay for a bolt gun. Too much gas on a gas gun. So, all right, not a big deal. But my last one I was pretty happy with. Uh, hollow points, 48.4 grams of C uh, CFE. And two and a quarter, right? It's nothing great. So I still got to work on that. So I thought, eh, I'll reload a few rounds and try it again. So this one, inch and seven eighths. And that's with the regular, so it'll fit my magazine, 2.8. Uh, but I went down a little bit. I think maybe I can go down a little bit more. May. May tighten it up? I don't know. But I was messing around with some uh, full metal jacket. Not real great. About a two inch up here. I brung it down a little bit. And then I threw a one. So <laughs> it's probably just me. different cases so I was using some Winchester cases and that's uh, the military ammo case so I'm thinking a little high pressure it's been uh, marking up some of the cases and stuff kind of the same thing here same case just a Hornady bullet versus the Sierra you know not good. Almost a four inch group. And then this is some Perfecta, just store bought enamel, full metal jacket, nothing great. Crappy. So, all in all, I don't like the groups I'm getting out of it. But we'll keep working on it. I love the, the rifle, though, it's awesome. Just nothing to write home about accuracy, though.